crazy. Yeah, there's some work to be done here. Food service provider. Now we're gonna have to check on this. I'll have to see. Man, what a rough situation out here. How you doing, buddy? All right. Nice to meet you, man. You too, Jimmy. Money. Jimmy, is this your bike? Yeah. You need any air? I think you're okay now. I, I got my pump. Oh. That's awesome, brother. Yeah, I seen a guy you ride around and he looks like he had a flat tire. Let me oh, fix yeah, my thing. That. Let me give you a card. You know, I'm here with a friend of mine okay. from Dalton. All right. And we're trying to help some people out. Well, appreciate it. And uh, there's one of my cards right there. Okay. I got a YouTube thing I do. So, been around for a few months, you know, just trying to help when I can. And uh, this is my first time in this area. You know, I'm 30 miles out of town. Wow, you know. that's pretty cool. Yeah. How long you been out here, man? I've been out here a couple years. Really? I've been back down home a couple years. I've been homeless off and on. Where, where, where do you call home? I call this place home now. Yeah. Because I was born here and raised here until I was eight. Damn. I went up to Indiana for 54 years. Wow. My wife died of 30 years, so I decided to come back down home. Oh, wow. My dad even asked me, why do you want to come down to Chattanooga? You know, because he lives up north, you know. And it's been a hell of an adventure, you know. Well, I would say, you know. I'm trying to help get people off needles, shooting up. I'm trying to stop the deaths of our people. A lot of drugs in this area? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people dying. People getting lost. How many friends have you lost since you've been back? Several. Really? That's horrible. People I know that are gone. That's not cool at all. So you can't stop it. Yeah. You guys waiting on lunch here? Okay. I'm not. You already had lunch? Okay. Yeah, I came up with a bucket full of, you know, ice waters and drinks and whatnot and got cleaned out. In fact, <laughs> you know, there's 50 people here. And I brought a friend here, like I said, from Dalton, and he just was doing some things. I saw him a minute ago, but now he's in one of the buildings. I'm not sure what's going on. It's pretty cool what you're doing, though. Yeah, I'm just trying to help. Hell yeah. Yeah. You know, just uh, sometimes it's like pouring a shot glass in the ocean. You won't make much of a difference, but to somebody you will. Yeah, that's all you can do. It can be really overwhelming. Yeah. Sure. Well, I couldn't do what you guys do. That's a fact. You know, it's a fact. Take some hard skin. Someday I'm going to need to take a break. Well, I can't blame you there. Long break. You sure you don't need any air? I got my pump. Uh, it's actually in hand. That's yeah, pretty good. <laughs> okay. Thank you, bro. Yeah, you're welcome. You got? You want a water? I got some waters. Yeah, I'll take a water. But they're, they're, they're not... These ones aren't cold. They're water out. Yeah, it'll water. All right, I'll tell you what. Um, I'll be I'm way at the end here. You're going to be what? I'll be sitting here. Oh, I thought you said you're gonna be 70. I was like, no. No, I'll be 64 in June. <laughs> wow. I'm pushing 70, but who knows if I make it or not? Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, good Lord will. You know? Sometimes you got to count every day as a blessing, so to speak. Oh yeah. All right, I'll come right back with the water for you. All right, brother. Okay. What was your name again? Jimmy. Jimmy. Okay, Daryl. All right, Joe. Thank you, bro. Uh, Daryl with a D. Okay. With the, okay. <laughs> no, I get that all the time. Because I talk fast. Right, you know, you. People hear it as Gerald. You, know. you want a water, buddy? No, I'm good, thanks. All right. Um, I got to go to my car. I'll be right back. I'm going to get Jimmy some water here. See what's up. Yeah, yeah no doubt. No doubt. Good clean water. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's fresh. Yeah. I appreciate right it. Right out of my sink. No, yeah. No, I'm like, they're, no, they're sealed. Yeah, they are. No, they're the real deal. I got a bunch of people that help me on YouTube that send out, you know, I'll get stuff from Walmart and Amazon, just different items, you know, snacks and drinks yeah. and, you know, I usually hand out a bunch of lunches. You guys are about to have lunch here, what, 12, well, yeah, you already I ate. Lunch right now, yeah, yeah, I had lunch, it was good chicken. Yeah. 
Is it chicken and rice they said they were having. Somebody said. And corn. Corn. Wow. Chicken, rice, and corn. Nice. How long you been coming here? Uh, a couple of years. Yeah. Pretty good deal then, eh? Yeah. Huh. It ain't bad. They, they they do their best to feed us. Keep us alive, you know. Anybody give you a hard time? Not really. No. I bring my own hard times on myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, live and learn, so to speak. Yeah, exactly, you know. All right. You an old timer? What's up, bro? What else long cat, damn it? I don't know. <laughs> well, you tell him I said kiss my ass, you better drink your fucking fruit juice. That's amazing. This is all new to me, guys. It's kind of out of my groove. I'm going to have to get it in my groove with quickness. I got a lot to learn, that's for sure. I can only come prepared so often. Ma'am, would you like a water? No, I would like a cigarette, my phone, my money, something to drink besides fucking water. Okay. You want a cigarette? I'll get you a cigarette. Please. Okay, give me one second. She's not very happy. <laughs> something besides water. Anything. I'm out of everything besides water. There he is. Here you go, young lady. Can I have a light? Yeah. I'll dig one up for you. What's wrong? You see my female or leave me the fuck on. Yeah, here you go. So you can have Ma, that one. Ma, ex stepmom was married to my dad, which Scott told her, which is my husband, told her yesterday she better have her ass here with my phone, some drink, money, cigarettes. But she ain't showed up yet. Okay. It's called Felicia Bond. Do you need to use a phone or anything? I need to call Scott. Where Scott, where Scott can tell Felicia to get her ass here. Do you know the phone number? 803-989-467. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me go get my phone and you can use my phone if you want. Please. Oh, actually, it's in my pocket. Sometimes I got it in my pocket. Sometimes I don't. I'll get you set up. You can give him a call and let him know you're here. He knows I'm here. He knows I'm on the street. Well, sometimes, uh, you know, getting a hold of him again is a whole other story. Let's go to the keypad. But Felicia's going to make him say shit. Okay, well, here, here's the dial pad. So, no, you can have that. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe you can get a hold of your, your people there and they can help you out. Um, I don't have any extra cigarettes. I gave actually I, I might have one. Give me a second here. Let me let her use the phone here. So. They might not answer from a strange number. It's hard to say. How are you today, young lady? I'm Ambrose. Yeah. What you doing? Alright. You're at work. You can't talk. Well, Miss Lisa Barnes has not been here yet. I can't help that either, Lisa. You have to wait for the No, they're in the car. I gotta go to my car and get one. I'll yeah. wait. Yeah. I'm just waiting to get my I, phone. I will lose my blood. Okay, she she's using my phone, so it'll just be a minute. So, all right. I need some body doubles. When you get please call Miss Bond. Please call Miss Bond and tell her to get her ass. She's not here. I ain't seen her all damn day, Scott. But she keeps on telling me, Scott don't want me, Scott don't want me, Scott don't want me. Hurry up, right? 
just as soon as she gets time. When is it? Next month? Next year? When is it, Lisa? Yeah. Get your shit off me! You good? I'm good, thank you. Okay, no, you're welcome. Well, hopefully, you, you know, you can get yourself, you know, your stuff figured out. But, uh, I, I can't get nothing figured out. I got two women ganging up on me, telling me in my mind, my husband don't want me. Well, Felicia, you're dead. Let's go. Thank you for the phone. Thank you for the cigarette. No, you're, for the no you're very welcome. No disrespect, but... Um, I'm sorry you're upset. I've been upset all damn day long. I have five fucking years of this shit. Yeah. Telling me I need mental help. Okay. Well, it's not for me to decide. I, I know it ain't. No. You know, nor should anybody else, you know, in my opinion. But, uh, okay. Well, I, uh, I really do wish you, I hope you have a better day. You know. But, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to spend some time every with Every day of my life, I don't have a good day. I had a good day yesterday, all fucking day long. Yeah. But today, uh -uh, I get told, you've been on Christmas, 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 Christmas. But both of our black tar heroin users. I'm 54 years old and I had these two women tell me what to fucking do every day of my life. That's God. Well, sounds like you got a dilemma there. I got a dilemma. I got a yeah. dilemma, all right. For sure. I don't like women in my life. Can't blame you there. So. And Miss Felicia Claudine Dominici is nothing to me. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll leave you to your business. And, uh, you know, sorry things are going, you know, not so well for you today. Thank but, you. Oh. But Felicia, Cla Felicia Dominici is going to have a Mohegan up her head. It's me. Okay. All right. We'll just try to try to keep the hope up. You know. I know there's not really a. I got three hundred dollars, which the damn gold digger stole. And she got a worn out for her arrest for using the Arnett name. Well, that's not cool. No, it ain't cool. My maiden name is Arnett. She ain't no Arnett at all. And she still uses Arnett. Instead of bond. So she's trying to pretend like she's someone else to get your... She's trying to pretend she's my biological full-fledged mama. And she's not. My full-fledged mama is Myrtle Elaine Aiken Arnett Fortner Sant Rowan. To, uh, have you got the police involved on this? I wish I could. I wish I could. But the police ain't gonna do nothing. They're just the police ain't gonna do nothing to police her. Okay. We're stuck here in Chattanooga. Where would you like to go? Back to South Carolina. But every time I call Scott, it's either Jessica and Felicia talking through here to me, telling me I need a mental hospital. I need something besides a mental hospital. I need these two bitches out of my fucking life. All right. Can I ask your name? Suzanne Ann Ornett. Susanna, my name is Daryl. Let's go left handed because you got, okay, well, you got that. All right, well, it's nice to meet you, Suzanne. I'm so sorry to hear all this. I'm really new to this area. I'm just trying to check things out and see. I've only been here one month and I'm being held hostage thinking she is going to get me help. Why are you? Oh, through my YouTube channel, you know. Thinking that she's going to get me help. Thinking she's got power attorney over Suzanne Van Orden. Yeah. I want her to pull it. Uh, yeah, this is beyond my levels. It's beyond uh, my level, too, because yeah. nobody has a power of attorney over me but me. Well, yeah, unless you sign it away. I ain't signed Which you haven't way. done, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah. I never went to a courthouse anywhere, throw up papers, and sign my signature over power of attorney over someone, not even my damn husband. Wow. All right. Well, I hope you have a better day, you know. Thank you. Try to keep your head up, you know. I need females to leave me alone. Especially two. <laughs> I, I used to say that. I said that when I was married. 
I need them to leave me alone. <laughs> uh, these two women are so much in, uh, in love with Richard Scott and Orton. It's pathetic. And they keep, he, he keeps on saying, leave me the fucking alone the box of Yeah. No, uh, uh Damn. My ex-stepmom was married to my dad. Well, not a stop calling to stop. For money, 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 money. Right. She's not going to get no more money. Yeah. That's me. Yeah, nip that in the bud. All right, I'm going to pick up my buddy here. We're going to head back into, I'm from Dalton. So. You're from Dalton? Is that your kitty? Yeah, that's my cat. <laughs> That's a pretty kitty. Thank you. His name is Vogel. What is it? Vogel. Vogel? Mm -hmm. This cat here? Mm -hmm. It's a pretty cat. This cat, man? <laughs> okay, need a cigarette? Yes, All right, would you like to follow me over to my car? Okay. It's only right here. Can I help you up? No. You good? All right. 